not know that Nairobi uses about 700,000 kilos of charcoal every single day, turns into ashes, 5 million people, 80% use charcoal. Um, from all of that charcoal that comes into Nairobi, when they unload it, all of the dust that comes off of the bags that's left on the side of the road and stuff, that's what we collect to use to coat the outside of the seeds. So when you take these seeds back into rural areas where these trees were once cut down from, we've actually found coins from 1922, the ones that have a hole in the middle of them, in some of these charcoal piles inside of Nairobi in places like Eastleigh and Kibera. So you look at the energy that's probably you know, unspoken, but that's powered Nairobi's growth for the last hundred years. For so many people, it has been either firewood or charcoal. And for us, being able to replace those trees at a very low cost, each seed ball is one shilling. So when you look at you know, government goals of planting 300 million trees in the next three years, do you want to do them at 50 shillings each, or would you like to do it at one shilling each, is a sort of pitch that we're pushing towards for everyone. This whole program is based on accelerating natural regeneration of forests. So we look in areas where trees are able to come back, what can you do to help speed that process up? And it's not only trees that we've had to work with, we've had a lot of feedback from people in dryland parts of Kenya for pelletized grass seed as well. Because a lot of now there's a movement to being able to do restoration on a landscape scale and being able to use things like aircraft, um, you know, larger, larger application, being able to think we're going to throw 10,000 tons of seed over 500,000 acres. This uh, technology is now making that a lot more accessible and a lot more affordable for more people. And for things like a big workshop on environmental custodianship, uh, I think this is fantastic that rather than give people, you know, more flash drives or hats or whatever it is, for the, those of you who are in Kenya, you can take your seeds, take them back with you, plant them. Uh, for people who are traveling overseas, because you can't tra travel with seeds, um, SIB has kindly donated on your behalf to the Mara Elephant Project a big 25 kilo bag of indigenous tree seeds that they will use to help restore the areas around the Mara that have been hit by charcoal making that usually comes into the urban areas of Kenya. Um, so if you'd like to see more, learn more, see videos of, uh, we've done it all sorts of ways, from students with slingshots to camels with backpacks that drop the seeds off from helicopters. Uh, end of the month, there's a big paragliding competition in Kijabe, so if you feel like learning how to fly and throw tree seeds out, uh, please come. Uh, and just check our website and social media and stuff, and you'll find all the info from there. Um, and thank you very much for such an interesting conference about something that I think means so much to so many. And not everyone understands the importance of what's being discussed here today. So I hope this does uh, lead some more light onto what we can all do to make a better Kenya and a better world in the future. <laughs>